Hey everybody, this is Pastor Bob, and this is Life with Luke number 77. This last week, we read more from Luke chapter 23. It seems like Luke is slowing us down, showing us Jesus' uh, arrest and then trial, and now in this passage, his crucifixion. It's amazing how uh, succinctly and starkly Luke puts it. He says that uh, as they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him there. He doesn't describe the details. He trusts that the people reading it knows what it means. The Romans were, were so, uh, depending on how you see it, good at it or bad at it. They, were, they had perfected inflicting maximum pain and shame on the sufferers. And as the, the Jewish leaders, Jesus' opponents, and even the Roman soldiers saw Jesus there on the cross, they taunted him because they saw in his death the foolishness of his claims to be the Messiah, to be uh, the Son of God, to be the King of the Jews. They were just making fun of him. It's, an, it's a literally excruciating scene. Luke is showing us that we cannot have Jesus. We cannot understand Jesus apart from Jesus being on the cross. You know, none of us can fully wrap our minds around that scene about God himself being on the cross, this cruel instrument of torture and execution. But the Apostle Paul writes a couple of decades later to the church in Corinth uh, talking about the cross. He says, I resolve to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. See, we can't have Jesus the, the moral example. We can't have Jesus the, the great teacher. We can't have uh, Jesus on any other terms other than Jesus crucified, the God who is willing to die for us and with us. And that is a huge mystery to ponder. But in that cross, God shows us what his love looks like. And that means that to follow Jesus, to belong to him, means that the cross defines our life too. Now, there's a lot to digest there. I hope you'll go and listen to the sermon, watch the video. I hope that you are challenged and blessed by it. The God who loved us through the cross is the God who calls us to have cross-shaped lives for the sake of others.